Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will showcase a complete quiz application that I built using Microsoft Power Apps and with the help of agents. From the quiz taker experience to the quiz admin experience to building React pages, data modeling, security roles and more, this video will showcase it all. So let's begin. The quiz taker power app experience. The home screen lists out all the available quizzes that have been set up by the administrators of the system. You have the title description of the quiz. It also includes how many maximum attempts are allowed for the quiz. Currently, I have not taken any of these quizzes. That's why the attempts highlights as zero out of the maximum number that's allowed for that quiz. So let's take the general knowledge quiz. The first question is presented, including the four choices. The design is modeled on who wants to be a millionaire. Top right hand corner is a 60 second countdown timer. I'll go ahead, provide my response, lock in my answer. The quiz moves ahead to the next question. Question one, I did answer correctly. So it gives me a score. For each of the questions, the admin can define how many points. The admin has set up a goal. That's the pass percentage needed for this quiz. The app does the calculations on the fly and gives me clear metrics as to how many more points I need to achieve my goal. If I do not answer the question within the stipulated time frame, it will skip the question, not give me a point for it, and straight out move to the next question. Jumps over to question three. Question two got timed out. I'll go ahead and complete the quiz. Completed all the questions. Here's the result. For each question, it highlights my answer. It also gives me an explanation for that question and the number of points that I achieved for each and every question. I have three attempts. I passed it in the first attempt. If I would want to retake it, I can do that. Or I can go back to the main list of quizzes. General knowledge quiz. I have completed one attempt out of three. If I go to my attempts, this will list out all the attempts that I have made across all the quizzes will highlight the score, the percent I achieved, and whether I passed or not. Now let's explore the admin experience. The quiz admin app shows a list of active quizzes. For each quiz, I can define the name, description, the category, the pass percentage, and the maximum number of attempts allowed. Once I have my quiz defined, I can go ahead and start framing my questions. These are all the questions for the general knowledge quiz. For each of these questions, I can define the title, description, the number of points, the explanation of the answer, the four options, and then what's the correct answer from these options. As an admin, I can also explore all the attempts that have been taken by users. Let's try and set up a new quiz. I'll click on new power apps. I'll give it a description category tech. Publish this pass percentage 75 maximum attempts allowed two. save. Now I'll go to questions. Let's add a new question. Question is which app type can be generated from your data model? I'll give a description for this. The number of points I would like to give for this question. My four options, canvas, model driven, power pages, power BI. The answer is model driven. So option two. 
and I can also give an explanation for the answer. Done. Save and close. Now, if I head over to the questions page and filter the quiz to pick all the questions related to the quiz named Power Apps, currently I have this one question. I have an Excel file in which I have already framed my questions with the options and the answer. Let's go ahead and import this directly in the app. So instead of creating these questions one by one, I will go ahead and import. I'll select my file. Next, review, finish import. This kicks off the process to import all the data into my questions table. Refresh. Here are all the questions. That's how easily I can set up a quiz as an administrator. Here is a user named Sarah who is using the Quiz Taker app. Here is the latest one, Power Apps. Sarah can start answering the questions. These are all the questions that the administrator set up. In this case, did not pass on the first attempt. Let's try and retake. Did not pass in the second attempt. Notice no more attempts are allowed because Sarah has completed the maximum number of allowed attempts for that quiz. As long as attempts are allowed, Sarah can take any other quiz that's available. Sarah achieves 100% for the general knowledge quiz. My attempts will list out all the results for Sarah. So how was this solution built? I have a solution in Power Apps called Smart Quiz Manager. If we explore the components of this solution, I started building the solution by using Plan Designer. Let's take a look. I started by describing my business problem slash business requirement to Plan Designer. I asked it to build me a quiz app where admins can create quizzes with questions, options, mark correct answers. Plan Designer started framing the plan which serves as the blueprint to address my business problem statement. It identified two user roles, admin and quiz taker. It defined the processes and helped me frame the data model needed to support this scenario. Let's explore the data workspace. These are the four tables being used by the application. For each quiz, there are going to be multiple questions. So there's a one is to many relationship between these two tables. A user can take a quiz multiple times. So a quiz can have multiple attempts. The attempt table is where the results are stored. And this includes the information of the user. That's the participant who took the quiz. Once my data model was defined, I then leveraged the tech that plan designer recommended to support my scenario. Two model driven applications were created. Quiz admin experience includes three dataverse tables that were connected in the app experience, quiz, questions, and attempts. The second model driven app is the quiz taker experience. That's what leads to this UI design. To build this, I took the advantage of the new generative pages experience, which provides me an app agent. I can simply describe my needs by prompting the agent that's powered by GPT models, and it can help build out a React page. This is the preview of that page. If I head over to code, this is the React code that I built along with the app agent. 
There were scenarios needed where I had to edit the code manually. So you have full flexibility, whether you are a citizen developer or a pro coder. So using React code, I was able to build this Power App experience. No solution is complete without defining the security roles. So I've defined two security roles. One for administrators, they have full control over the tables. And second, our quiz takers, they only have private access to their own data. And how did I share the apps? The quiz admin sharing this application, the security role, quiz admin is needed. Anyone who has the security role, in this case, Reza has the quiz admin security role assigned. So Reza has the access to run this application. On the other side, the quiz taker experience requires the quiz taker security role. That's what I assigned to Sarah. And that's how easily I was able to build an end-to-end -end quiz application by using the intelligent application capabilities of Power Platform. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.